We've been working on this for like two weeks now. We have to make this shot count for your mom to see. Well, thanks for giving up time with your three girlfriends to help me with this. Ah, uh, don't mention it. I guess you're one of them now. One, two, three, four. some good stuff. Hey, Mom! Remember that one time you promised that if I was doing good in music, you'd buy me a piano? Look, I know you've been practicing hard and putting a lot of effort in it, but our family isn't exactly in the best financial situations now. I just hope that you understand. Understand? Mom, you you promised! You know I always wanted this! You keep on saying next time, next time! Alex, you're being so rude! If you really want the piano so bad, go find a job and try being more productive! Productive? Says the one who sits at home and does nothing all day, relying on her husband alone to provide? How about you go get a job and support I'm me for once? I'm unproductive? Who's the one feeding you all Forget the time? Forget it! You don't care about me anyway! Clothes? You're so ungrateful! You have a condition known as expressive dysphagia affecting your brain. There's really no reason I should be mad with you right now. It's not really gonna change the condition you're in. But this is why you shouldn't let your anger get the better of you. Mom loves you, she cares about you. And I bet she's worried sick now. Oh, look at this. Hey mom, I'm bringing Alex home. Where are you now? I'm driving home from the market now. How's Alex doing? How's Alex, doing? he's still alive, you know, able to talk and all, but He's been diagnosed with conduction aphasia. Caused by the impact to his head. He he's gonna struggle to speak now. But you know, fortunately, he's still able to understand us. There's speech therapy, but we're probably not gonna be able to afford it because it's too expensive. Oh my fault! Oh my gosh! Why did I make him mad in the Mom? first place? I'm such an unreasonable mother. Mom, calm down, oh you're driving. God. Oh my New clean bandages for you. How does it feel? I mean, that's good, yeah. You know? Hopefully, with this new job, we will be able to support ourselves, right? So, how do I look like for my first job, for my first day of my new job? Good? Alright, I don't want to be late for work, so I'll get going now, yeah? Don't force yourself.
Okay, Alex, no practicing. Well, I'm off the bed now, so I'll try not to stay up for you. Yeah, sure, I'll go to the bathroom. Thanks. Alright, Alex. Well, ever since our friend Nico has introduced you to me, your playing has attracted a lot of customers, and I'm really grateful for that. Thanks. However, the thing about having so many music lovers here is that, well, they observe every single song you play. The thing is, you've been playing the same songs over and over again, these cover songs. And to be honest, the only thing I can say is people are getting bored. There's just no interest anymore. There are musicians who are willing to play for the cafe for less than what I pay you. And the only reason why I haven't picked up an offer from them is because you've been with us for so long. I'm going to give you two months to create something original. Something with flair to entice the crowd. If you can't do that, I'll simply have to pick up another offer with these other musicians instead. So, have you written the songs yet? Are you gonna ever finish writing them? Wait, have you given up? Hey, I've seen you play piano since the days you come to my house when you didn't have a piano of your own. Do you think this is what your parents wanted? You quitting like that? Hey, for a guy suffering from aphasia, you've come further than anyone's ever expected you to. You're already inspiring people around you simply by, you know, not giving up. Listen, no one said that that original piece had to sound like every other piece you play. Try different genres. Don't limit yourself to whatever the cafe guy just said. You have authenticity, dedication. You have a story of your own. He once told me that your dream was to create music, share with the world, changing it along the way. Hey, actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? I might be able to help you with that. But first, you're going to need some equipment. And some bread. Bread's on me. Now that you've got your gear set up, it's time to acoustically treat your room. You want to try to get the most accurate sound from your speaker. Make every track in your composition sound clear. Compression helps your mix. Reverb and delay can create a sense. Experiment with different sounds. You want to make your song interesting. It's going to take a lot of time. You're going to have to work for it every day. As for inspiration, it's everywhere. You just have to find it on your own.